Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to predict a term in a repeating pattern. And this is on page 89 in your jump math book. So you can see here on the board a repeating pattern. Now your repeating patterns that you're doing are, are going to look a little bit different than this. You're actually doing some flips on a grid that's going to create a pattern. But predicting a pattern will work the same way. We've talked about this before. Um, for example, if I want to know what the sixth pattern is in this term, well, I can just count them. This is term one, term two, term three, term four, term five, term six. And I can say, well, that's a circle. The sixth term is a circle. All right, but what happens if I ask you, for example, the 22nd term? All right, well, I can see on my board I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight terms. I don't know if I want to keep on continuing this pattern all the way to the 22nd term and even sometimes the 78th term or the 107th term. So that's not going to be an effective tool to use to keep on continuing the pattern. But there is another, another strategy we can use. We know that in a repeating pattern, there are a group of terms that repeat every time and that is called the core. So what you want to do is you want to find the core of your pattern first and then work with that to predict the term. My pattern is going heart, square, circle, heart, square, circle, heart, square, and then we know the next would be circle and then it would repeat. Listening to that, I, I'm, I'm going to circle the core, which I have noticed is star, square, circle. Uh, sorry, heart square circle, and it keeps going heart square circle. So my core is three terms long. So I'm going to show you to find the sixth term again, but not, not continuing to follow that sequence, just working in the core. So if I wanted to find the sixth term, I could just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I, I get the same answer. The sixth term is a circle. So now I can do that for the 22nd term. I'll count inside the core. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 is a heart. The other thing I can do is if I don't want to count them one at a time, if I'm really good at skip counting, I can go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and then 22 would be there. So there's different counting strategies you can use within your core to help you find your term that you're looking for. So have fun with that today.